Hi everybody, this is Mr. Polly, and welcome to AP Podcast 14.3, where we'll look at common ions, which is really comes from salts or mixed acids or mixed bases. We're going to look at the pH of salts, so we're going to be able to predict whether they're acidic or basic qualitatively. No number. And then pH of salts with math, which would be quantitatively. And we're going to be able to look at concentration versus strength, which is quite simple. And I actually, this common ion thing we've talked about in class a bunch, so I'm going to jump right over that and hop right into, whoops, the pH of salts. Oh, no, actually I'm not. I am doing one common ion thing, so let's start with that. Um, consider the reaction HCl plus F negative yields to HF plus HCl negative. And this was something that um, people asked about, and I did it in both classes, but I want to put it in a podcast too, so if you study with the podcast, you can see this. Um, with If you want to figure out what's going to be more likely on something, you want to look and see um, a comparison of um, Ks. Okay? So the species that are present for these guys are going to be H, F negative, OCL negative, and I'm going to put H here twice, um, and I'm going to put these guys together um, as if they're on teams, okay? So there's the blue team and the yellow team. Now, um, and they're going to fight a little bit. Um, both of them are acids, and if something is a powerful acid, it is going to more likely turn into its conjugate base. You're going to end up with A negative if it's a powerful acid. So if I look at Hockel, and I look at HF, the Ks of E negative 8 and E negative 4, the difference is 10,000 times as much. So that means that F is a way better acid. So of these two choices, F is going to make F negative. And since Ockel is a pretty wimpy base, that means that Hockel is going to be one of the choices. And I should have had up here as my choices too, HF and Hockel. Okay. So because... Hockel is weak. It's the weakest. It's going to be in its, I have my acid, my H form. And F negative is powerful. That means it can get rid of its H. Remember, a powerful acid is a good H giver, so it's going to give away its H's. A poor acid or a weak acid, the weaker acid, will not be able to give away its H as much. So this is what I would expect to see in my perfect world here. Um, and looking at this, I usually think my perfect world is my products. What do I end up with? And I end up with the opposite of what I would anticipate. So what that means is these guys are not favored. The guys on the left are favored. And these guys are not favored. So if they're not favored, and you know that K is products over reactants. And if my reactants are favored, these are going to be huge. So if they're huge and this is tiny, tiny divided by huge is going to be less than 1. And that's where that comes from. Okay? I hope. pH of salts. All right, the pH of salts basically comes from, um, th this is qualitatively. So if I just say, is this going to be an acidic or a basic salt, what you do is you look at, oh, I used the wrong color already. You look at um, where the parts came from. Na came from NaOH, which is a strong base. Cl came from a strong acid. Strong versus strong, if those things are equally strong, remember strong is 100%, so they are equally strong, so that means they will be neutral because they are equally strong. Now, same type of deal, if I have barium sulfide, barium comes from a strong base, remember it's a group 2 hydroxide, but sulfide comes from a weak acid, right? So strong base, weak acid is going to be basic, right? So if I have a strong guy fighting a weak guy, I will pick the strong guy to win. And that's how to just remember it um, qualitatively. Copper comes from a weak base, copper hydroxide. And HNO3 is a strong acid. So strong acid, or weak base, strong acid, 
Acid is stronger, so it wins. It's going to be acidic. And that's just a quick little mnemonic. If it asks you how or why that happens, weak, weak. Um, if it asks why it happens, that's going to be the next slide. But right now, this is just how to do it. Um, if it's weak and it's weak, we don't know. Need Ks. The reason why we need Ks is we know those are weak, but we don't know which one is weaker off the top of our head. Okay, So that's how to tell qualitatively. Um, and then the explanation, if someone says why, first question is which are, second question is why. Why does salt, blah, meaning salt anything, have a basic pH? And you know the same thing could be said for an acidic pH, but my answers would be flipped around. The conjugate of the cation, remember the cation is the first part. Right, so if I had um, KNO2, if I had KNO2, the cation comes from a strong base, so it does not react with water and does not affect pH. The conjugate of the anion, that's the negative part, NO2 in this case, is a powerful but weak acid. Okay, so this comes from HNO2, right? So NO2 negative. If HNO2 is a weak acid, that means NO2 negative is going to be a base, and a pretty significant base, and does react with water, making the resulting solution basic. So if NO2 negative reacts with water, written funny, I'm going to make HNO2 plus OH negative. So I'm making a base. Okay. So NO2 comes from a weak acid and that weak acid reforms. When that weak acid reforms, it's acting as a base. And the flip is true. It is great if you use equations like this. So if I have NaF and say explain it, um, you would say, well, Na and F could have the following reactions with water. Um, this one would be no reaction, so no pH change. F negative plus water would make HF, and that would be a reaction. And I've made OH negative, and OH raises pH. That's why it would be a basic solution. Again, strong base, weak acid, but the cause of the basicity comes from the F part. Okay. With math, this was number 90, which Dina asked me for a uh, question like this, and I couldn't look, apparently. I only have one or two of them in there in the 90s. Um, calculate the pH of a 0.74 molar solution of NaC2, blah, 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 blah. So acetate. Um, so, and I used something very similar to this for the sample problem in class. Um, I scribbled out the Na right away because I know the Na will not affect the pH and it's just going to be a spectator ion. I don't believe in sodium. So I'm going to have acetate C2H3O2 negative plus water and I'll write it HOH for those of us who want to be simpletons or enjoy the fact that we can be simpletons once in a while. It's nice to have something be easy plus OH negative. I like when people read me books sometimes, too. So I'm making a base here. I'm starting with a 0.74 solution, uh, 0 and 0, minus x, plus x, plus x, 0.74 minus x, x, and x. Now comes the sad part. I know this is a base, but I have a Ka, so I can't use a Ka for a base. So I need to find Kb. Kb, if you recall, is 1e negative 14, that's Kw, over the Ka, 1.8e negative 4. Remember, this is Kw over Ka, if you need that. And then this was 5.56e negative 10. So to solve this part, I'm going to have 5.56e negative 10. And I know I need my base 1, because I'm using the salt of an acid, not the acid itself. And I'm making a base equals x squared over 0.74 minus x. If I do that, and I got rid of that x because with this k value it's going to be insignificant. So I'm going to have 5.56 second comma e negative 10 times 0.74 enter, second root, second answer, and I have 2 point x equals 2.03 e negative 5. And if I negative log that, now I don't have room to do all this work, but you need to. Um, negative log 2.03e um, negative 5 will give me a POH, negative log of this, of 4.69. Not the answer. Uh, uh, uh. I need to change my pH. 14 minus 4.69 is 9.31, and that is the answer. 
So watch out for that trickiness. What is the pH of a 0.92 KCL solution? And I immediately think, where are my Ks? Ah, I need Ks. And then I look, this comes from a strong base. So it does not react with water at all. It comes from a strong acid. It does not react at all. The molarity is irrelevant. If you have a strong base, strong acid salt, the molarity does not matter, which is nice. Concentration's effect on strength is nothing. Let me just say before I get anything else, nothing. The effect of concentration on strength is nothing. Strength is based on identity. And it's based on identity and polarity and all those other things. But if you know the identity, the strength is constant. Okay? Um, it's based on the identity, which is based on Ks. The only thing that changes K is temperature. Okay? Concentration is based on moles, which you can change per liter. Okay? So Schuler is strong. Here's my example. Schuler is strong. The football team, that would be his strength, right? Individually. So Schuler has a personal characteristic of being strong. If the football team has 10 guys as strong as him, does that make him stronger? No. Schuler is just strong. If the football team has 70 guys as strong as Schuler, does that make him stronger? No. It just makes Schuler as strong as he is. Okay? Remember, strength is how much it splits or ionizes. So this is an acid which we should never show it like this because these are all bonded together. And then these are all split up. And it's split how much? 100%. By the way, I changed a new, um, I went to a higher resolution thing, so I hope my pictures come out better, so please let me know. So here we go. All right. Hopefully I'm not muted because I did this the second time I did it because it's muted. All right. So now, why I picked ants marching for my thing. One of the questions we have either in this um, multiple choice or the next one is talking about formic acid. And formic acid, by the way, was found and is only found, well, now it's not, in ants, which is crazy. But the K for formic acid, four molar, formic acid coming from ants, should be higher than, lower than, or the same as K for eight molar formic acid. The only thing that can change the K is the temperature, right? So does concentration change K? No. So it is the same. So don't be a sucker and fall for that. Review. Percent ionization is just part ionized over total, which I dropped that part because we did it before. Salts from strong, um, I don't know, strong parts have no effect on pH. Salt part from weak has an effect on pH. Use Ka times Kb equals Kw for calculations of salt pH. And then just to remind you that Ka2 thing, is the concentration of A negative, which is a nice little guy to remember A negative 2, sorry, A negative 2. And we did that earlier, but that's a quick one to go in there. And concentration has no effect on strength, much like songs about ant have no effect on your ability to remember that formic acid comes from ants. But I wish you an ant-free weekend, although it would be nice to be warm enough that those little red ants all over North Campus come back. So, see you in class. Two